Hi, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we will have more on the Fen Treasure on this episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. We're glad you're here. Thank you for watching. We hope you'll give this episode a like. And uh, when you do, subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost a dime. Absolutely free. Uh, and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notifications each time the show comes out. We get lots of comments on our videos. We get lots of emails. Here are our email addresses. They're on the screen now for you. Uh, for instance, let's see. Let's go to... Uh, you got one, Ronnie? Yeah, I got... Uh, this is a comment on the last video. Okay. It's from uh, Mike Nodine. Oh, okay. I know him. Um, and he's talking because we briefly hit upon the subject of the uh, bracelet. Yeah. And he says, the Consider that the return of the bracelet may be part of some post-find option. I've wondered if perhaps the return of the bracelet is what may really entitle you to the gold in some legal sense. Uh, maybe you give Forrest back the bracelet and he gives you the rest as a reward for finding and returning the bracelet to him by means of a trust transfer or something that would protect the finder to some degree from the claws of the IRS. That would be a, a big one. Yeah. Uh, and that it's not made public because it's up to the finder to decide whether to exchange whatever options there may be or not. I don't know, purely speculation here. Okay, here's what I take from that particular comment, Ronnie. Um, what if Forrest is gone? Right. Uh, then who gets the bracelet? Right. Who gets the key to the gold, if you will? Um, and that's why I keep reiterating, and I take a lot of heat for this, and that's okay, but I believe that there is a torch that needs to be passed. And I also, once again, remind you that once that happens, more hands could be on that treasure. Well, and I feel that the bracelet is so unusual that just when somebody, whoever knows the, that the bracelet was placed in the chest, when somebody sees that bracelet, they'll immediately know this person has actually found the treasure. Uh, it's from watching other Forest Fen videos and readings. Uh, people have shown Fen bracelets in the past, uh, trying to, you know, uh, say that they have found the treasure. They have not. Yeah. So, I like I said, I think that this bracelet is unusual enough and different enough that it sets itself apart from any other bracelet. Well, so, I've read that it's a very important bracelet to him, and that's part of the reason he wants it back. I mean, it could be something that he has made up himself, and it has, I mean, it could be like a, a Girl Scout bracelet with his name in, <laughs> in little cubes on it. So, mm, Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> yeah, it's that time of year. All right. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Mike, Mike, for that, that comment. Uh, Grizzly Bear says... Uh, and this goes back to uh, another episode that we did in talking about how Fen knows someone has been within 200 feet of said treasure. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that I remember bringing up was, uh, what about the possibility of drones? Now, Ronnie says that uh, drones are not allowed in national parks. Right. So that would, in essence, eliminate uh, Yellowstone. Uh, he goes on to say, Fen has advanced knowledge of radar technology. He taught the stuff. He was a fighter pilot, damn it. Okay, hey. all right, Grizzly. Uh, there are ways to trace everything. If you paid a good hacker, you probably would have the location of the chest easily. If you had enough money, you can buy state-of-the-art equipment <coughs> that you can connect to a grid. A simple radar detector can be installed 50 feet from the chest and nobody would even know they sent a notice to Fen. You can install a relay on a rest area next to the site. The possibilities are endless. You guys are funny. Don't you think that a guy that took 10 years to build a poem and wanted to leave a legacy left anything to chance? And now to the funny 
No, I'm going to skip that. That's not relevant. Okay. So, again, we go back <laughs> to what if it's a thousand years before the treasure is found? Um, the radar notification isn't going to go to Forrest Fenn. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> or if it is, he's not going to hear it. It's just, <laughs> it's just going to be in his uh, in his tombs in his uh, tomb. Yeah. So, I don't know. I I honestly think that someone got drone footage of this area where this treasure is located, and I believe that Fen had it sent to him. I believe he got drone footage. And he knows that there's a person who knows where it is. Now, why this person hasn't come forward, you know, we can't answer that. Right. Uh, some people want to remain anonymous. Anon, anon. Uh, uh, some people, they just want the money. They don't care about the legacy. And, you know, there's going to be those people. Yep. Amongst the subculture that is the Fen community, there are other subcultures uh, within it. And some of these people are in it just to... Remember the guy that sent us a, uh, a question in the last episode about um, what would you ask for us, Finn? And right. he said, I wouldn't ask him anything. Right. I wouldn't want him to throw me off. Right. You know? So... I mean, and that's true, too. I, if, I think if Forrest is anything, he is... I'm not even sure I want to use the word clever. I just want to say... Um, He's, I don't know, maybe a tad bit shady. So it wouldn't be beyond him to throw out a couple of false clues because he really does want people just to follow. He said that you can solve this thing with Thrill of the Chase. Just the poem. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. So anything else he throws out there it could be putting you on a little bit of a false trail. Um... Let's see. Here's somebody that agrees. Uh, well, thank you for that. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> I believe Fenn was sent drone video. We've heard this. Of the search area last summer slash fall, which includes the chest location by a searcher that, after studying the footage, went back to the area and found and retrieved the chest. Mm. That is the video that Fenn used to zoom into the site and make his incorrect assumption. Uh, and as Richard says, by the way, I am a man, and men are so smart after all. <laughs> okay, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and we're talking about drones, so as long as it's not in a national park, you can use a drone. Why uh, do I feel that the treasure is in New Mexico? Um, well, I think a lot of things actually, that seems like it's the most convenient he said you were going to be amazed when you find out where the treasure is. And the only thing is, I don't, you know, I don't think he wanted to to uh, rest his bones over a treasure chest near the Arby's in town. No, no, it's not going to be found there. <laughs> so, I, you know, I mean, uh, and it's not in a cemetery. No, he's made that clear as well. Yep. Well, and he's also said it's in the Rockies. So, uh, I yeah. It's not going to be, not going to be a phone booth nearby. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of things nearby. It's going to be pretty out there in rural for sure. It has been brought to our attention that Fen, Forest Fen's signature may in fact lead to a very significant discovery. Now, what I'm about to show you here are three signed books. There you see them. You'll notice in this first one that in the F that is the loop that is the F in Forrest's name, there is a dot. And that is his traditional signature. Right. It's kind of out of place. Here's number two. And you'll see that there's a little different animation. And be careful, don't step in number two. Please. We don't need that. Uh, so there is virtually the same signature with the dot, but a little different caricature. Now, this is the one I want you to see. Here it is. Instead of a dot, it's an X. There's an X in and his what is, signature. What does X mark? The spot. The spot. Yep. Okay. Now, 
it suggested that these loops in the two F's in forest and in fen represent something, this is a term you may, if you're a fen searcher, you know this term, double omegas. And if you can identify where those double omegas are, I would think that one could superimpose the forest fen signature and lay that X over an exact spot, Ronnie. Uh, I mean, it's, it's far-fetched, but everything we've talked about is far-fetched. Yeah, we don't make it up. Yeah, it's, everything is out there. Um, and the other thing about the Omega sign itself, Omega is the 24th letter in the Greek alphabet, okay. meaning the end. Oh, the last one? It's the last one. Hmm. That is the last and final uh, letter in the Greek alphabet. Is it the final clue? Is it the so, resting place? Maybe that's the final, final spot, the ending spot. All right. Well, there's you heard it here. Uh, Joe John says, please show the pixelated photo that Glenn oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. has shown about Fenn's special place. Okay. Well, we get a lot of feedback on this right here as you're seeing it. <laughs> Mostly negative. Uh, yeah. Almost exclusively it, negative. It does look like a box to me. It does to me too. It's not vividly clear. And now you've had a chance to see that uh, here. There you go. Okay. Um, and uh, Joe John, thank you very much for your comment. Uh, Ralph Taylor says, in my opinion, he has left a very few direct clues. You have to look at the big picture. Wink, wink. Um, and so do you have another Ronnie? Um, you know what? I mean, this is, there's a lot of rehashes of a lot of things we've already talked okay. about. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't think I found anything. Uh, you commented, um, my feeling is that Fenn could be flying over the spot in a small plane from time to time. He's a pilot. However, if it were me, I'd be nervous that someone was tracking my every movement and I'd never go back there. I see, and that's, so criminals, criminals return to, to the scene, scene of the crime. Uh, but, and I don't know, is Forrest Fenn, does he just refuse to go back there? And I would imagine that it's probably no easy task for him to go back there by foot or by horseback or whatever he did before. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's also the, the very real part of the equation that somebody could be really watching him every time he leaves his house and so no there would be there'd be no incentive for him to go back anywhere near the spot where he's hid the treasure well he's gonna be 90 years old i i also think that he's not i mean is there a difference between 80 and 90. gosh i don't know i can't speak to that um, but uh, yeah. i i would believe that one would become a little more feeble yep. as they acquire 10 more years uh, this one is from poemtreasure.com. I've been watching videos and reading the blogs, and every time someone has claimed to have found the chest, I've always commented that they were wrong, except I don't leave comments about it on the blogs. The last one being Scott Conway, and I've even left a similar comment on his channel before. I also commented on Andrew Briggs' blog about two years ago that he didn't even have one clue right. And he deleted my comment right away. <laughs> well, uh, you know, here's the thing. This is our show. <laughs> right. And that's their show. Right. Uh, we Sorry. love the comments that you leave. We read every single one of them. We try to reply <clears throat> to as many as we possibly can if they deserve a comment. Right. Some don't. Yeah. Uh, some are beyond comment there. Some are... I think the ramblings of people that have not slept enough. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. Uh, we rarely, if ever, delete a comment. Uh, I will tell you that some do fall into a category uh, that need to be approved. Right. And nine times out of ten, I do approve them. And at the same time, you know, we're not dickheads. Right. But if you are, you're probably going to get blocked from the channel. So remember that when you're commenting, you know, if I mean, it makes a difference to you. If they're not constructive, then I don't see the use for them. If they're, if they're wildly uh, insensitive and hurtful. And personal. 
yeah, and personal. Again, that's not really what this is all about. No. And we don't, we're not out there searching, and we never will be. No. We're not going to be out there boots on the ground ever. Right. Uh, we're doing this as a way to try to collect as much information as possible for people that are out there searching. Now, would we love to have the person that ultimately solves this poem and finds the treasure? Of course. Yeah. Oh, Somebody said to me, Ronnie, I was telling you this earlier. Somebody said to me, well, you only do these Fen Treasure episodes to get uh, views. Doesn't everyone, isn't that the kind of the purpose of YouTube? If you do a video on yourself sneezing. Right. <laughs> um, and you get views, why do you do them? Because you get views. Yeah. Why would you continue to do v videos on anything if you have zero views? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's going to bring us to the conclusion. We wanted to get those uh, signatures on so that you could see them and see where X does, in fact, mark the spot. What does it mean? That's what I think. I think you need to superimpose this over the double omegas. If you found them, try it. Let me know. You can uh, reach either one of us at our email addresses. I'll give those here. Mine is lou at menaresosmart.com. Mine is Ronnie at mentorsosmart.com and we encourage you to please give this episode a like also uh, subscribe to our channel yep and click the bell because when you do you get notifications each time a new show comes out uh, feel free to leave your comments below as I mentioned we will get back to you um, and, uh, and we do reply to your emails as well I'm Lou Gallagher I'm Corvette Ronnie thank you to the folks at Trico Welding Supplies and Magna Gas also thank you to our sponsors a and C Marine and Capital Mobile Break. Hey, Boatman. They're all here in Sacramento. Hey, Joel. And, and uh, uh, when you need services or goods, please support the people that support this show. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.